biggest thing that we're doing for the Laxaflex brand for Royal Vine Fabrics this year is all to do with the print side of the world. And um, before I actually go into the design and, and what we'll be launching, I'd really like to cover off just a little bit more detail on exactly how we're going to take our first stage launch and also what it means to us as a brand to be able to go into this world of printed fabrics. So I'm not sure if a lot of you are aware, but it actually can take 12 to 18 months to develop a traditional woven type fabric, what we're used to seeing. For a printed fabric, apart from taking the long time and getting the colours right, it can be a lot, lot quicker. So what happens in that same process is that we'll see the life cycle and the turnaround to be something that's a lot quicker. So just like fashion, things come in and out, but with printed fabric, you can actually maintain a design in longevity just by manipulating the colours and also by picking the right design. What we are looking to do for the Laxaflex brand is work with the Gallery Advisory Committee. So once we bed down the first lot of fabrics that you're about to see, we really want to work closer with you guys to getting into market with the designs that you feel is what your customers are coming to you about and what you feel will really work. So this will be something that we can turn over a lot quicker. There will be a lot less inventory for us, so we can actually look at investing in a lot more designs as well. So it's a huge thing, the way it can really impact the fabric category as a whole. The other thing that's different about, about printed fabric is the way it's <coughs> received in the market traditionally in terms of sampling and going to market from that perspective. So if you go online and you get um, a cushion printed or whatever it is, they won't actually send you a sample unless you purchase it. So sampling is something that we're also going to be reviewing and I can touch on it lightly with what we're about to launch but it's something that you'll also not have to worry about because I think with every time you guys see new fabrics, see new designs, you think, okay, how much more swatching do we have to carry and all those sorts of things. And although um, the marketing team have worked on new binders and is going to be launching those in October, I'm not sure if you've done the marketing session yet and it's come up, but there will be the new binders and the block out and the translucent will be separated and designer won't have its own separate books. So that's a brilliant thing. And these print fabrics will live again in both books. So that's one thing that the other thing that we're doing for this season, the main thing is that we're approaching it in two ways. So there's going to be three designs that are stocked within the Hannah Douglas website, um, website, a warehouse. <laughs> Yeah, we'll stuff them in the website. Um, and then there's three designs that are going to be what we call print to skin. So print to skin will obviously have a longer lead time. So the industry standard is about a 21 day turnaround and that's exactly what we're going to be putting those designs on. And I'll point those designs out in the end. But let's kick off with Micropia. So as you guys heard in the morning session, we went to the White House School of Design, who are leaders in the industry of bringing up and coming designers like um, Rachel Gilbert, like Camilla Frank, all those different designers. And we briefed the students in on a, um, the trend of uh, Micropia, which is all about the DNA of pattern and print, because we knew it's something that's going to start really impacting our industry heavily. We told them that the biggest key thing is that they have to make it more Australianised. They really need to think about the Australian consumer, what we're about, and really take that into their designs. And we felt that the Rebecca Smith's design is all about what we are. So it's about the flora and the pattern of our bushlands, and it then it incorporates the right colourway that's all about the um, personality and the Australian environment. So we've got Bubbles, which is the multicoloured fabric that's on the hoist there, the blue, pink and yellow. And then we've got an ocean, which is obviously a nice blue that represents our waters. And we've got the green, which represents our fauna. And this is ragged, which is all about the um, urban landscapes and our ragged ranges. So you can see that this is actually quite a striking design. It's quite modern, but it's something that also has an ease to it that will allow us to coordinate it quite well. The, all the printed fabrics that you're about to see are going to be available in both block out and translucent and they're all at a three metre width for roll of line application at this stage. The next of the designs are the ones that we've worked with signature prints on 
And as you would have heard with David from the history of signature prints and the patterns and what they put forward, it's all about endless classics opportunities. It's all about things that really speak heavily in the premium design world. And it's all about something that will really stay with us for a long time. So we're really excited about doing this collaboration and trying to work the right colours and the right designs for our brand. The first one that I'd like to introduce you to is Texi, our new sexy modern texture. Thanks. He's coming. <laughs> Are you selling words? <laughs> so Texi, as um, David mentioned, it's very much a hand-drawn, inspired design that looks at Hessian texture and takes that to the modern application. So you'll see the amount of intricate detail that's there, and that's what really creates that beauty of it and, um, and also the pattern that's so obscured that you can't see so it's really easy to follow this design because there's no significant structure so you're not going to have to worry about how it lines and all that sort of stuff unless we've got it on a real angle. Isn't that right? Rowan's nodding, that's why I had to put that in. Um, Texi will also be available in some neutral colourways, which makes it easy to coordinate, so a grey and a beige, and it will also be offered in some colours that add a little bit more something to the design and make it really special within a space. <coughs> and all the colours will be up on the hoist, so please go up and have a look at the end of the session. So we're looking at a duck egg blue inspired colour, and we're also looking at a nice greenery colour. The next design is Finesse. And finesse is one that really draws, we thought um, would be a really good design to include because it draws on the craze of what's happening with the print world from a botanics perspective. So we saw botanics last year and this is something that continues to change but this is a lot more of a softer version and as we know in a flat roll of line application we need soft. We don't need the tropics, we don't need those really high and amazing designs that would work beautifully in a softer application. For a roll of line, we need to go more delicate. So finesse will be again available in neutral tones. So there will be a grey beige version and a, a grey white version and then you'll have some colour options as well. But this is as hard as it's going to get in the pinks which is really quite subtle and quite relaxed. So still nothing too crazy but will still draw the customer's attention. Again, both <coughs> finesse and texty block out and translucent three metres wide. The next of the design is Spring Bloom, and I think this is the one that takes everyone by surprise, not just because we saw it as a black and white picture um, with David in the morning session, but because it is a very traditional type of pattern, but what colour can do to a pattern is quite amazing. And as David mentioned, this is actually something that's inspired by the godfather of the crafts industry and pattern and design. And his name is William Morris, and that's him up there. And that's also some of his globally known designs that he's developed. So these designs really resonate with people that understand design, that understand premium branding, and what can really be developed. And you can see the similarity. I mean, it's very obvious there. But we're obviously on a, a totally different colour scale, you know, 60 years on, which is what you'd hope and expect to really make it viable for today's market. So what we've done with Spring Blue is it's very bad colours, but again, the samples are at the back. We've taken two designs with a white background, so it makes it very soft, and then we've taken two with um, a more beige and a more grey background, and then the softer detail to the surface that comes through. Again, three metres wide. The last of this, the, um, oh my God, I'm tired today. The signature prints design is the Fleur Bouquet. Now, Fleur Bouquet is a different take on texture. Um, and the way it's different in the sense it doesn't look at woven fabric, which is what people usually resonate with when they think of texture and textiles, but it actually looks at flowers and it looks at removing the hard line that outline a flower and really looking at the detail that can come through from having multicolour. So just like Texi, even though it's a different colourway, you can see that it's very hard to follow a pattern. So it's going to be really easy to coordinate with the neutral colours and it's something that's going to create a very different statement to something that's so much more structured like your spring broom, like your macropia. So you can see the ease of coordination and that sort of calmness that it can deliver to a space. 
The last is a more modern take for prints. And it's actually something that draws on watercolour inspiration. So at the moment, the, apart from botanics and tropics and all those sorts of things, we are seeing a lot of watercolour painted flowers that are coming through on various applications as well. So Augustine is about taking that and transforming it into a roller vine fabric. And this is quite a strong colourway, but it's all about turning it into something that's funky and quirky and playful. The other colourways that you'll see on the hoist are very different, very simple and, and not as hard and a lot more easy to coordinate. So from the prints that we've just seen, it's the Augustine, the Fleur Bouquet and also the Spring Bloom that will be the print to skin. So they're the ones that will have the longer lead time. And then the Micropia, the Texi and the Fenex are the fabrics that will be available as regular roll blind lead time. And I mentioned briefly also the swatching will be different. So for the warehouse item, you'll receive it exactly like a normal swatch. So you'll get all your block out swatch samples and all your translucent swatch samples. For the print to skin design, what you're going to receive is um, a repeat card. They'll all get a repeat card, which is what you have for the last designs that we launched in a designer series. You'll also receive one full size print of what the actual scale is printed on a fabric. And then you're going to receive a pack that has the four colorways that are available in the rain. So instead of printing four colors and then you having another 48 to 64 skews, you're actually going to get two printed fabric samples plus a repeat card. So that's what you're going to get for the swatching for the print to skin option. And this is pretty much um, a standard way to swatch print to skin type product. Um, like I mentioned, some of the guys um, that are doing things in terms of printing on cushions, that they'll make you pay for any sample that you want. It's not a stock, regularly swatched item. So that's just something to keep in mind. And I think down the track, once we all get more in tune with how this all works, it's going to be, uh, thank you Patricia, I'm glad you did it that way. But that's it for me.